pretty even. A little more even on my side it's over a here. A little more even on your side? A little more. <laughs> Not animal no, no. Corner, buddy. <laughs> Get all Orwellian on me. Yeah. <laughs> some gaps are more even than others. That looks really good right there. That is gapless. Just watch the mating ritual between an engine and the transmission. Beautiful thing. This it was. It. Nature is wonderful. I think at this point, I got those bottom two. Let me put a wrench on this bottom Not one more time, and then I'll disengage the transmission jack. Interesting, this in particular engine case was actually the block that they engineered for the EJ251. So it's actually got the eight bolt bolt housing on the um, on the block, even though it didn't use it in the original application. They were, but they were already making the EJ251 for other applications. Oh. 99 is the only one that's like that. Huh. That's weird. I kind of thought they went like cold turkey on the 25D. It's kind of cool though. It's got, I think it's got a stronger main bearing cap on it. Huh, that is nice. Yeah, it is. All right, I want to keep an eye on those um, motor mounts. Drop this thing down, get those motor mounts engaged. Right. You have a flashlight, man? Yeah. You're good on the, I think, I think you're good on both sides. Sides? Yep. Alright, I'm gonna keep coming down then. This thing's getting closer to my face. <laughs> Probably kind of scary. It's a little weird. I should really get out of here, huh? Maybe. Oops. Sorry, camera. Alright. The shitty time lapse is all we're capable of, and that's just how it is. Sometimes in life, that is all you're capable of. Thank you for the shitty passenger time. <laughs> right? <laughs> Getting a little existential here. Alright, I guess I'm gonna get that filter. Yeah. Uh, NOS. And NOS? Yeah. For the... NOS? No, for my mouth. For, the car, for your mouth, not for the car. For the car? Yeah, we're definitely not... Uh... Although I do have some fuel injector cleaner at home. Ooh. Octane boost. No, thank you. Five horsepower. No. Mm -hmm. I got some. What? Big vagina. You got a funnel? Yeah, um, I don't trust myself. Tyler wanted to spit it in there, but I think we should go with funnel. Spit in there? Yeah, it's something like a mouth transfer is what you're saying. Oh, yeah. Because you swallow as much as you possibly can and then you eat her. Like yeah. Like a baby bird. Yeah. It sounds weird to me, but I guess people do that. You need with a bomb bars? Tyler does that. I'm with your engine, man. Love is what makes a super a super. <laughs> just start plugging things into places. Those need to be hooked up. I'm gonna put that right there. This. I'm gonna come up where they actually go too. Uh, I think they go right here. That's what I want is my fuel hoses full of dirt. <laughs> <laughs> and, 
of the Grand Cooler. Has a certain sort of cartoon logic to it. And I think the green ones are like more eco-friendly. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go through the steps. Make sure we can forget them. We got the upper bell housing bolts. We got the pitching stopper. Yep. We got the torque converter to drive plate. Yes. Um, yep, you helped me with those. Power stream pump is on enough. It's, yeah, it's there. Um, wow, we're skipping that. Lower side of bell housing, we got that. Yeah, we got the engine mounts. Then we're getting the exhaust pipe. We got both oxygen sensors. Hoses. We got all three fuel hoses. Those all clamped down properly? Yes, they are now. Okay. Um, let's see. Cruise control hose. Nice. Right. Hose? Yeah, vacuum line. Oh. Cables aren't hooked up yet. But... Heater inlet and outlet hoses, you got those, right? Uh, yeah. Brake yeah, oh, awesome. booster vacuum hose. We're all sauced awesome. up now, man. Right, there's your vacuum hose. Yeah, there's there's awesome. supposed to be an engine yeah. ground. Oh, that's the one I put on, engine ground terminal. I'm pretty sure I got that. Start her up. I guess I'm going to take care of that one transmission cooler line. That's one. Is there any engine ground lines that I missed? Um, I think I got that one. I think that was the only one. What is, what's that thing? Oh, it doesn't fluid. seem to be hooked up to anything. That's no, it's just washer fluid. Yeah. Alternator shit. connector. Let's see, that's on. on. I torched that one. Mm, I don't see any obvious grounds. Cruise control cables. No Air intake them. system. Yes. No, you definitely installed that dirty side down, right? I did. It only fits dirty side down. Yeah, it really does, doesn't it? Let me see. Cooling system. That's the last thing we're going to do. All right. ATF line on. We'll fire this up. All right. All right. Whatever. Crank this thing on. Three, two, one. Break down. Okay. Three, two, one. Nothing. Cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> Cut off the wire. Weight reduction, bro. We are looking for a wire that no longer exists. No, we did a starter delete. <laughs> Rolling starts, bro. Three, two, one, disruption. Why not? Hey, thank you. Over. It did. Lovely. Do we have fuel in here? I have to hook up the fuel pump. Lately. I was just, just giving it that first crank over. Nice. It cranked over. Sounded like an engine. Nothing went bang or snap. No, it sounded rather healthy. It sounded like an engine. Yeah. Alright, I guess we'll give it some fuel, huh? Yeah. It's in your ass, is that what you said? Things in my eyes. Oh. You said crap, it's in my ass. I don't know where your ass is. This is an appropriate ish place for crap, I guess. You sure that one in like a three and slip or something? Jack. Thank you. The bleeder plug? Yeah. The thing we need. Where is it? Where's the bird plug? Can I start it? Let's do it. Lights. Oil pressure lights and light. Seems like we're only running on two cylinders. Alright, let's fire it up again and try. Just gonna piss all the way. <laughs> 